Hey, what's going on, YouTube fragrance fans? Welcome back to Oda Treasure EDT. I'm Steven, back for another video. I'm going to show you something that is an interesting fragrance. Nothing rare, nothing vintage or discontinued yet. But something interesting that I acquired here in Japan. And let me tell you about this one. This is a this is a designer house called English Laundry. Now, I've never had uh, an English Laundry fragrance before. I've never actually I've sampled it at the store, but I've never owned one. And I've seen them all the time at the TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls stores. It's like a staple there. And one of the advantages, one of my favorite places to look at and to test fragrances here in Japan, one of the advantages I have is the, um, the military base. So most of you guys know about World War II, what happened in World War II. And as a result of that, the United States has a lot of military bases all over Japan. And I live somewhat near one of them, and I'm lucky enough to be friends with some of the guys working in there, some of the soldiers. So from time to time, I like to visit them, and they, uh, they escort me into the base, and we, we just hang out, and we eat some American junk food that's there. You know, they have a whole big, uh, they have a building with all these uh, uh, restaurants, and some of them are fast food places. And it's the food and menu and stuff that you can't really get outside of the base in Japan. I mean, there's a Taco Bell there. Yes, there's a Taco Bell in Tokyo as well, but the menu items are different. You know, they don't have the, uh, if you know Taco Bell, they don't have the Mexican pizza in Japan. They don't have the Doritos taco in Japan. I don't even think they have the Chalupa in Japan. You might be wondering, what do they have in Japan? Uh, they have the Taco Supreme, and they have um, they have the, uh, what do you call it, the Crunch Wrap. They got that, but they don't have some of the stuff. So that's an example of some of the cool stuff about eating at the uh, restaurant inside the base, the, the menu. They have a Burger King. They have bacon cheeseburgers in there, but they don't have them in, uh, in Tokyo. Tokyo Burger King doesn't have a bacon cheeseburger. Can you imagine that? To me, a bacon cheeseburger is a staple of hamburger restaurants right you gotta have that but that's what i get uh stuff like that and then they have a restaurant like a chili's chili's restaurant and it's nice to just chill out with my friends and uh yeah it's nice to chill out at chili's but the fragrance section in the uh, store so they have a supermarket and then they have a home goods store so if you can think of if you guys in america know what walmart is like Think of a giant Walmart that has one side is the supermarket, the other side is the home goods. It's like that. It's similar to that with American prices, which means that things have gone up recently. But the fragrance section is amazing. And I love going into the fragrance section because it's not staffed, meaning you don't have to deal with salespeople that are trying to sell you fragrances. And it's really great that it's unattended and Every designer fragrance, every popular designer fragrance is, is practically there with every flanker as well. And they all have the actual bottle that you can use to spray and just to test it on your own. They have the testing paper strips and then I just like to test it on my hand. And the problem is I, I don't have enough spots, especially in the winter time with all my clothes. So I really can only try about four of them before it all kind of muddles together. And I always look at what the deals are there. Unfortunately, at the base, the price is it's full retail price, mainly for everything. But once a year, things go on sale, like a year-end sale or um, a clearance sale, and that's where I saw this. So I was there with my buddy, and um, basically my buddy bought this, and he gifted it to me, let's say. And you can see the price on this thing. So the, for, I forget about all that stuff. The exchange price, that's the name of the store, the exchange, right? It's about 50 bucks, but realistically, it's just a 100 ml bottle of this English Laundry Oxford Blue. And this was their price all year, 40 bucks for this set. This is a, I don't know if you call this a coffret set. 
It has the uh, three-in-one shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, and it even comes with a little duffel bag. So I'm gonna open this one up in a second and check this out. Just, um, you know, forgive me for taking the time. I just wanted to tell you a little story about going to the base and looking at these fragrances. Guys, you know you got it. You know you love these uh, three-in-one shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. If you're a guy like me, I don't even have hair. I have no use for three different bottles. One bottle shampoo, a conditioner, a body wash. Yeah, I know some people care about the quality of each single uh, one. I don't care. If you could put three in one bottle, uh, then you've won me over. I'm simple like that. All right, so I saw this, and this was by far the best deal. I don't know if you can see the price tag here, guys. Nineteen ninety-six. So this is twenty bucks. You can't beat that. Uh, I mean, if it was fifteen bucks, it would be simply incredible. But twenty bucks, I told my buddy that's the one to get. So let's open this up, and I'm gonna test this out and tell you what this smells like. So this is a clone, guys. English Laundry. Uh, this. Uh, this um, designer, this brand name, they have a lot of smell-alikes. A lot of their colognes smell like something else more popular. And this one is no exception. I'm going to tell you when I try it on what this one smells like according to the reviews. And I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. Because the one that this smells like, I am a big fan. So I already like this profile. Let's try this one out. Let's take a look at the box a little closer. English Laundry Oxford Blue. By the way, if anybody didn't know, B-L-E-U, it's not a misspelling. That's the French spelling of blue. So it's an EDP. It's a 100 ml bottle, 3-in-1 shampoo, 200 or 236 ml bottle in there. And there is a duffel bag. Where is this made? E-L fragrances. I don't know. I can't see the where it's made. Actually, it looks like it's a decent size because this thing is quite big, the sides of it. So here is the three-in-one Oxford Blue shampoo, conditioner, and uh, spotty body wash. Pretty decent sized bottle. That'll come in handy, especially when you know what it smells like. And then here's the bottle, Oxford Blue. So this is supposedly, this is a smell alike of Versace Eros, guys. And you can tell, look at the color, it's the same thing. So let's check it out. 19205 is the batch code on this, if anybody cares. Let's give this thing a try. All right. Now this hand still has the fragrance from the last video, which was Michael Jordan Legend, which is a pretty good for a coffee-based fragrance, a cheapie. This is also another cheapie. But I heard the price is also going up on these. You can't find these for 15 or 20 bucks anymore. I think they're up 25 or 30 bucks now. All right, sprayer's halfway decent. All right, let's give this one a smell test. And I'll give you my initial impression of this one. All right, I'm back. I've been smelling this thing for a few minutes here. Yes, it is very similar to Versace Eros. It's very close, guys. This is a, if you want to call it a clone, if that's what it is, this is a decent clone of Versace Eros, meaning it smells very similar to this one. Guys, here's the real thing, Versace Eros. This is the EDP. This is the original. Can't speak on the performance because it hasn't been an hour or two. But I know that this is fantastic, guys. I've been wearing this, I think, in all weather. Maybe not the really hot summer weather, but um, spring, fall, winter. This thing is fantastic. I love this kind of minty apple thing. When I first smelled this when it was new, like seven or eight years ago, I thought it was weird. It took me a while to get used to it, but now it's... Um, like the rest of the community, it's we've caught up with it. You know, maybe it was a little bit ahead of its time. I don't know, but uh, I like this. So this is just basically a cheaper version of this, and this one is already cheap. So this is a little redundant. I'm gonna hang on to it. And I'm gonna wear it for a week and see how I feel about it. If it's really the same as this one, 
But guys, if you're looking for Versace Eros, if you see this at the store and you're thinking about getting it, it depends on the price. So it's 100 ml, guys. Guys, if you're seeing this in the store, TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, and it's 25 bucks just for this bottle, to be honest, 25 bucks is a good deal. Just pick it up, 20, 25 bucks. I wouldn't pay 30 bucks or more for it. And here's why. You can get this, the 100 ml, unless I'm mistaken. You can get this online, guys, on discounters for maybe 50 bucks. 50, 55 bucks for the EDT, all right? So the Eau de Parfum, the Parfum, the Eros Flame, guys, those are great too. But unless you're really picky or you're really uh, far along on your fragrance journey and this is boring for you and you want to get something that's more expensive and more refined, then you get the Parfum. But if you're kind of, if you like the smell of Versace Eros, just get the Eau de Toilette. The performance is fantastic on it. It smells great. You get compliments. My girlfriend likes this one, and she's picky. Just pay 50 to 55 bucks for this. Just pay another 20, 25 bucks and get the real one. But if still, if 50, 55 bucks is too much, you're all right with this one because the smell is very similar. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. If you like what I'm doing, showing some interesting fragrances. Also, in other videos, I have a lot of rare, vintage, discontinued stuff as it comes in. And something is, I just purchased something yesterday. And it's nothing new. But in the next video, I have coming two vintage Abercrombie Fitch Fierce bottles that I want to show you. A 30 ml and a 50 ml classic red label. I know I do it all the time. But I didn't want to wait and do them before this. I'd rather space out those fierce videos with some other stuff in between. But hey, look, when I see a nice one and I grab it, I want to show you guys what I'm, uh, what I'm doing here, right? So even if I've shown you other Abercrombie Fitch Fierce bottles, why not show you some more beautiful ones as they come in? So yeah, and this one coming in is a beauty. So Stay tuned for that. Come back to the channel, and I always appreciate the time you guys are spending. So I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for spending time on the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.